G'day, I am Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv. Now, in this video, I want to have a quick word about fonts and uh, choosing the font for editing code. Now, by default, um, if I right click and go properties, uh, Delphi uses um, Korea New, uh, which is available pretty much on any every Windows install, so it's a, a, a pretty reasonable choice for the default font. However, uh, it's not necessarily the optimal font. Now, after a bit of research on the internet, um, most people seem to be quite fond of Consolus, which is a, a slightly different font and has you know good distinction between uh, zeros and capital O's. If I can find one, no, but um, they're you know I can probably just type them beside each other so that they're, they're uh, quite distinct. And likewise, you know one. L and, and capital I are all quite different. So it's a, a, a good font for editing code. Now, um, Consolus is installed with Windows Vista or Office 2007, and if you have either of those, um, it's a, a you know you'll be able to take advantage of it. Uh, if not, um, you'll need to pick one of the other fonts, and you might just want to stick with a Korea New. But there are um, other options, uh, Deja Vu Sans Mono seems to be quite popular also. Um, and uh, I used to use uh, uh, Lucida Console, um, which, is, which is a reasonable font, but um, not, not wonderful. Now, um, of course, you can't just do any font, it has to be a mono spaced font, and these are the ones that are available on my system. Um, so there's you know lots of possibilities that many of which are not ideal, um, and there are two types of fonts: one's vectored and one's bitmapped. So, um, for instance, uh, Korea New is vectored, but Korea is a bitmap font, and bitmap fonts only have a small selection as to the um, point sizes you can specify, and they don't have any you know font alias aliasing or anything like that. But um, that very much uh, what you see is what you get kind of uh, <laughs> um, they can be quite clear to read because of you know the, the lack of aliasing there but, but they look quite pixely and, and not necessarily very attractive and these days um clear type is, is pretty impressive uh, in its its capabilities so Korea um, fixes if I can find it uh, as another um, option and uh, actually it's probably not a very good one for code um, you want you probably want one that has has an option for bold um, so terminal might be might be another another option which which does have a bold um, now uh, if you don't have uh, consolus there is um, another option which seems to be highly popular on the internet and that is Inconsolata. Now you can download it from uh, this website. It's um, very popular, it's also very free. So um, you can download the open type file and just overwrite the one that's there. And once you've downloaded it you can open it and then install it. And that will uh, install the font on your system and then of course we'll ha it'll be available in the list um, and this one this in consolata seems to be uh, not wonderful at uh, low point sizes it's not too bad but it looks a bit blurry and hard to read um, the, the verticals are uh, uh, less than ideal um, but at, at higher point sizes, it looks pretty good. But of course, uh, you know, you don't get much code on your screen. Um, this is 1366 by 768, which is not a huge, hugely high resolution screen. Um, if you're, you know, running an Apple Mac with a Retina display or uh, you've got a 1080p screen, you can uh, pick a, a larger font size. Um, but I will stick with uh, with 10 
and console us. So that's um, pretty much all I wanted to say. Uh, so hopefully uh, you'll uh, try out some of the other fonts and pick one that um, might, you might find better than Korea New. Um, so I'm Alistair Christie for LearnDelphi.tv. Um, thanks for watching.